My name is Daniel Hyde. I'm a professor of psychology here at the University of Illinois. Theory of mind is the ability to understand that other people have mental states, meaning thoughts, beliefs, knowledge, desires, and so forth. In this study, we were interested in the development of theory of mind and infants looking behavior suggested that they understood something about the mental states of other people. They could predict people's behavior based on what that person knew. And so this sort of research led us to think that there may be some foundation of theory of mind much earlier than childhood when, when kids can express their understanding of it. So the way we chose to look at theory of mind in infancy is to measure from brain areas known to support theory of mind in adults and to look how these brain areas responded in infants and to compare that to what we knew about how they respond in the mature brain. We set up scenarios that are nonverbal in nature. The basic scenario is a person is interacting with a puppet and the puppet hides an object in one location and then moves it to another location. Under some conditions, the person is watching while the puppet moves it to the other location. And under other conditions, the person is distracted with their head turned as the puppet moves it to another location. the baby's brain is distinguishing scenarios where the actress holds a false belief about the object compared to scenarios where the actress holds a true belief about the object. And this is exactly where we see the difference in brain response of the temporal parietal junction. We think theory of mind is critical to interacting with people around us. It's critical for learning from other people and for understanding their actions. So knowing when this develops allows us to know when these other capabilities come in of deeper understanding of other people, of understanding interactions, and a deeper understanding of how to learn from other people.